All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to change the decorations on your Steam profile page so you can customize this however you like with whatever you want. And you can get a lot of different cosmetic stuff in a few different ways, and I'll kind of explain how a lot of that stuff works here in a moment. So in general, you can customize the look and feel of all of these different categories here on the front page of your Steam profile from the games that you play and showcase to the achievements that you like, the badges you've collected, your favorite game, and more. You can do all of this by either hovering over each one of these sections and clicking Edit or Change Showcase, or you can edit your entire profile by going to this button here and clicking Edit Profile. And of course, if you're not sure where your profile page is to begin with, let's say you have spent most of your time here on your library page, you can hover over your name in the center of the window and then go to Profile. From here, I'm going to hit Edit Profile and I will walk you through each of the sections. So the General tab is sort of personal information about you, your profile name, your real name. Don't put your real name on the internet. I know it, it has it here and it's an optional feature. Don't put your real name on the internet. Uh, then you can put like the prefix for your custom URL here. So it'll be steamcommunity.com slash ID slash Larry Chupacabra. And I can change that to whatever I want. It used to be Alcott Cirque a million years ago. And down here, if you want, you can say what area you live in. I would not specify city. Uh, I would specify maybe state at most just because people have a tendency of trying to harass each other on the internet by doxing them. And then you can put a little summary down here if you so choose. And if you want, you can also hide your community awards on your profile, and then if, when you're done, just hit save. After that, you can update your avatar. You have the option of either uploading a custom one, like I did for the purpose of this tutorial with Nick Wilde from Zootopia, but you can also do things like see ones that you have collected from rewards, like the summertime sales, I got this dancing cow. You can also customize the frame that goes around your profile as well. You get these from either unlocking badges, or you can also buy them off of the Steam Points shop. And every time you make a purchase on Steam with real money, uh, you get a certain number of Steam Points that you can spend in the Points shop. Uh, I will show you some of the stuff you can get there in a minute. After that, you can change the background of your profile in a similar way. I've currently got the summer stuff, but you could also do something like some scary background stuff or the Outer Wilds, the Little Scout, all sorts of stuff. There's a whole long list of these that I've unlocked, everything from Don't Starve Together to Tesla vs. Lovecraft. And you can also buy more, like I was saying before. You can also determine if you wanted full screen or the original size of the image. These are oftentimes created by the developers of the game in question, so they're not always super high resolution, big picture like images. So you can determine how they are stretched on your profile. I just like them full screen. So I'll go down and hit save. The mini profile is what people see when they hover over your name while they're browsing around on Steam or their friends list. You can set up your own background there. Like I can switch to these windmills and then I can have the same profile as I have over here in my avatar showing up here with my character and also the border around it. Let me just save that. Then down here we can determine a theme or a special theme override. It's not showing this for me right now. It was when I was doing it yesterday. But depending on how you have things set up, it'll allow you to set a custom theme for your profile page that will allow it to have like a summertime look or a midnight look or a cosmic look. But for right now, uh, the color scheme is not allowing me to select one and I'm not sure why. Special images. So for your special profile, I'm not actually certain where this shows up. You can pick what your background looks like for your special mini profile hover when they hover over you. I'm, I'm just going to leave it at the summer in the city. You can also just pick like a solid image. They don't really give you a lot of options. It's whatever your current background is or like none. You can also change what badge you've collected and you want to feature. I like Subnautica, so I'm going to stick with Subnautica. Um, badges are unlocked by collecting the Steam trading cards and then combining them together, and you can change which one is currently visible 
You also get them for other things like being a 13 year veteran of the platform. I think it's up to like 16 years or something now. Um, you can change what group is your favorite. I've just got my Larry Chupacabra collection that I don't really use that much. That's my current one, but you can change it to whichever one you want if you have a lot of different Steam groups you're a part of. And then you can tweak which showcases are currently displayed. These are things like all of the games that you've got, your item showcase of rare items that you got from like Team Fortress 2, your favorite group. Um, which one would I like to swap? Um, I actually don't necessarily like the game collector one. So we could do things like my awards. I don't really have a lot of awards. Uh, I got the slow clap from something. Salient stats. You can do achievement showcase and pick which achievements you want to show. Like the alien swarm achievements. Let's say I want to do that and then I could go to like arcade tycoon and do that if I wanted to. Depending on which one of these, they all customize a little bit differently. Um, the game collector one allowed me to change which one of these games I like the most, like Subnautica I like, Witcher, Killing Floor 2, those are all really good. Uh, I might change out Killing Floor. What other games do I have that I really like? Uh, let's do Red Dead. There we go, Red Dead Redemption 2 is now on there just for funsies. You can do like a rare achievement showcase, your badges, all this stuff. And then normally, if I go back to my profile, this showing up down here at the bottom is controlled by your privacy settings, this recent activity. I can actually show you how to edit that as well. So we checked out the featured showcases. You can kind of reorder these two. You can click on the side here and drag them in different orders. Or you can just swap between like previous and next to try to check out like what would look good on your profile. I don't really go on my profile that much and I don't really particularly care which information is shown. I don't really have a lot of personal information on there to begin with, but you know, you might want to control that a little bit better. Privacy settings. This is sort of important because some people get harassed on the internet, especially women. So you might want to pay attention to this if that is the case for you. You can, in general, set your profile to be public. And this is just like a generic setting. You can get fine tuned down below. You can set it to public, friends only, or private. Pretty self-explanatory, public, everyone can see it, friends only, your people on your friends list can see it, or private, no one gets to see it but you. Game details are things like what games you've been playing, what games you have in your wish list. If you're actually in a game, you can set that to be anyone can see that, just friends can see that, or no one can see that. And then you can also set it so that always keep my total playtime private, even if users can see my game details. This will completely hide your game activity if you toggle this on, in case you don't want people to know what games you've been playing. Again, people get harassed on the internet. I let you be the judge of what information you want to show. Friends list. Do you want people to see your friends? Do you want only your friends to see your friends? I don't mind if my friends see who I'm friends with, because, yeah, they're my friends. If I don't trust you, you're not going to be on that list. Same with my inventory. People might want to trade me Steam trading cards. I don't always use mine. And if they want them, they can have them, sort of a deal. Although I keep my gift information private because I don't like people knowing what I give for gifts. That's a surprise. I let anyone that wants to post on my profile because I leave it public. Um, if they put something nasty, I'll delete it. It hasn't really been a problem, but if it ever did, I'd probably put that to friends only. And then screenshots and workshop items, you can't really control that. That's just on a per item basis. If you share a screenshot, you can then determine who gets to see it. So yeah, that's how to edit your profile. I hope you found that helpful. Let's check out the Steam Point Shop before we leave. So you can buy all sorts of crazy stuff in here. Again, um, every dollar you spend on Steam gets you a certain number of Steam Points to spend in this store. You can do things like purchase uh, animated movies for your profile. You can purchase backgrounds, like I purchased the Summer City Items Collection because I think it looks cool. You can get avatars that are animated to, in case you don't want to upload your own. Those are always really fun. You can get frames that are crazy and animated. Again, I really like those. Those are really fun. You can also get backgrounds, like I was saying before, both animated and uh, regular. I don't know who this is, the Claris show, but this particular anime character slash, I think maybe VTuber has been super popular lately. I've been seeing her everywhere. Uh, you can also get Vaporwave, which is another favorite of mine. We've got community awards. You can gift people community awards through here. Tell them that you think they're the neatest thing ever. 
You've also got seasonal badges that you can buy in case you want to show that off and get some seasonal points. You've got game profiles, pretty much any of these things that you see as a cosmetic or get as a reward as a cosmetic, including some walking Dr. Livesey memes, is available here. There's all kinds of stuff, so check it out for yourselves. They're not too expensive in the grand scheme of things. Like, I, this is my purchase history. I bought some stuff. Pretty easy to purchase a lot of different stuff pretty quickly and burn through all of it, but, it, I mean, it's just cosmetics. You're not really out anything if you don't have enough money in Steam points to buy more. You just can't optimize or customize your profile for a little while. So if you have to wait, oh well. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. This has been a look at how to customize your Steam profile. I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.